Kus Becker was born on the 14th of December 1952 in Poshevstrom, South Africa. He grew up on a farm in the town of Heidelberg, Gauteng Province, South Africa. For his secondary education, he attended a school in the same region he grew up in. Afterward, he earned a Bachelor of Arts in Literature and another in Law from Stellenbosch University in 1972 and 1975 respectively. Thereafter, he bagged an LLB from the University of Witwatersrand in 1978, then an MBA degree from the Columbia Business Administration in 1994. He lives on his Babylon Storen estate of nearly 600 acres in South Africa's western region with his wife Karen Roos and two children. This estate features architecture dating back to 1690, including a farm, orchard, vineyard and more. Kus Becker first gained interest in the media industry while he was studying at the Columbia Business School in the US. He noticed the growing cable TV market and upon his return to South Africa, founded Mnet in 1986. This made Mnet the first pay television established outside the United States. Currently, it is available in 48 different countries serving over 7 million subscribers. Subsequently, in 1994, Becker was one of the directors that established MTN, the cellular telephone giant. Today, MTN is the eighth largest mobile operator in the world and the biggest in Africa. In 1997, Kus Becker became the chief executive of NASPAS and led the group until 2014 when Bob Van Dyke took over. A year later, in 2015, Becker took over from Ton Vosloo as the chairman of NASPAS. Becker is revered for transforming this South African newspaper publisher into an e-commerce investor and cable TV powerhouse. NASPAS is a global internet group and one of the largest technology investors in the world. The company operates in 130 countries and is listed on the London and Johannesburg stock exchanges. The group conducts business in Europe, Africa, Latin America, China, India, Russia and some other countries. Its principal operations are in internet communication, entertainment, gaming, and e-commerce. Through NASPAS, Becker made several investments. For instance, he led the company to invest in the Chinese internet and media firm Tencent in 2001. As of 2018, NASPAS had an approximate 31% stake in Tencent and is the largest shareholder. This investment boosted the group's stock price over time and became one of the most successful venture capital investments. In 1998, Becker also invested in the internet business in South Africa through NASPAS at a time when technology was not yet a big thing there. He created News24 and Fin24, which is now one of the premier news websites in South Africa. In December 2018, NASPAS went on to invest in India's food tech giant Swiggy as well. NASPAS has acquired and built other brands over time, some of which are Media24, OLX, Emag, Fin24, Property24, Multiply, SimilarWeb, and City Press, among others. During Kus Becker's tenure as the CEO of NASPAS, the internet group witnessed a prolific rise in its market cap from about $1.2 billion to a whopping $45 billion. Interestingly, while still serving as the CEO, he signed a contract with NASPAS not to receive a salary or bonus, but be compensated solely via stock option grants that vested over time. Over the summer of 2015, he sold more than 70% of his NASPAS shares. Kus Becker has received a number of awards and recognitions in his lifetime, some of which are World Entrepreneurship Hall of Fame at the World Entrepreneur Awards, Best Entrepreneur by Ernst & Young, Lifetime Achievement Award by The Business Times, Honorary Doctorate in Commerce by the University of Stellenbosch, Appointed Member of Board at the University of Stellenbosch from the year 2000 to date, 1008th Wealthiest Person in the World by the Forbes Rich List 2019, Fourth Wealthiest South African with a fortune of 2.3 billion US dollars by Forbes 2019, and Africa's 11th Billionaire by Forbes, 2020.
Thanks for watching.